Not too long ago, there was a troubling rumbling afoot, as of course we all learned that Sony was attempting to trademark Let's Play. Many, including myself, were deeply concerned. Some perhaps proposed that this was for a marketing scheme, and it's possible that's one of the things they wanted it for, but the trademark itself revealed that Sony wanted the mark for its quote, electronic transmission and streaming of video games via global and local computer networks, which definitely leads to the more, shall we say, widely accepted definition of Let's Play. Now, when I first did my video on it, and I will link my old video in the description below, the US Patent and Trademark Office refused the claim because they found Let's Play too similar to Let's Play with a Z, which is held by a Georgia company engaged in online gaming business. And thank you to MacArthur Law Firm, their claim has pretty much been shut down, although they do still have time to reply. It's not looking hopeful for Sony, and thank God. As basically, when the MacArthur Law Firm heard about Sony's claim on this trademark, they filed an objection to this filing and cited more than 50 common uses of Let's Play in video gaming, which led to the US Patent and Trademark Office ruling that Let's Play is merely descriptive as it pertains to video gaming, which is a fairly accurate description of that particular title. Now, as I said, Sony does still have until July, sorry, June 29th to provide some compelling argument against the two findings, that's the Let's Play with a Z and the merely descriptive finding, but MacArthur Law is confident that the merely descriptive finding by the USPTO makes it highly unlikely Sony could prevail. And just to give you their credentials, they are an LA-based firm that specializes in intellectual property law and video games, so they know their stuff. And that once they heard about this, they decided, hey, no, you can't do that. This has been around for a long time. It is just a description of, we're gonna play a game with commentary, and sometimes not even with commentary. It could mean a lot of different things depending on the streamer or the commentator or whatever you wanna call them. So it seems like, hopefully, this is the last of it. I doubt that Sony are going to be able to come back from this because they have zero claim to this, literally none. They can't even claim that they helped create the term because it has been around for a long time. So here's hoping this is no, this is no more, Sony. Stop with the silliness, okay? I don't know what you have planned, but it, just stop it, all right? Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.